Hi, welcome to our tutorial on how to use Library Market, which is the online calendar for the Cosby Library and Community Commons. This is where we'll have all of our virtual programs posted, as well as any other events or contests we have going on. And there are a few tricks to be able to use this calendar like a pro. And I'm going to show you how to search for a program and how to register for a program. When you first go to the website, which is Cosby Library, Dot librarymarket.com it will automatically default to the current month so for this month it's July you can use these left and right arrows to navigate to another month you can also view upcoming programs in tile form so tiles showing each of the different programs you can click back on month to go to that default monthly view, or you can view the calendar weekly. Let's go back to that monthly view. Now if you want to search for a program, there's a few different things you can do. You can use the keyword search, however I'm going to show you there's a little trick to it. So I already know that there is a cooking program in August. So I'm going to put in cooking in this box and apply. And you can see that I get a message that no events are found. However, this keyword search only searches the month that is currently being displayed. So if I go to August, you can see that the cooking programs now are showing. I could also go to upcoming and it will show the cooking programs. So make sure that if you're searching by keyword that you have sort of an idea of what month the program might be in or click on this upcoming box so that it will show you all upcoming events that have that keyword. Let's go down here and reset our search options and go back to the monthly calendar. Now let's say that we want this calendar to look a little bit less busy. You can see that we have a lot of these ongoing events right now. You can hide those events. So you click on hide and say apply. And then let's say that further you're only interested in classes for adults. I'm going to click on adults right here and say apply. Now I'm only seeing the programs for adults. Let's say further that I'm really only interested in book clubs. Well, if I go here to program type and click on this little down arrow to the right, I can look and see all the different types of programs that the library might offer and click on book club. Again, I'll hit apply. And now I'm only seeing the adult book clubs. Now let's say that I made a mistake. I want to see all the book clubs no matter what age they're for. I can either click on all of these boxes to say that it can be for any age or I simply unselect adults so that I only have book club selected and say apply. And now I'm seeing both the teen book clubs and the adult book clubs. Let's look and see how we can register for a program. So I'm going to clear my search options by hitting reset. I'm going to move forward to August and then let's say that I'm interested in this virtual craft casual program. When I hover over the title it's going to bring up a abbreviated version of the details of the program either on the left or the right and anytime I see one of these little boxes with the pencil in it that means that I'm going to have to register for the program and because all of our programs right now are virtual they do all require registration because we need to send you some important information about how to access the program on Zoom. So I'm going to click on the title of this program so I can see the full details. It will show me when I can register for this program, what age group the program is for, how many seats are remaining, and if there's a waitlist for the program it will also show a waitlist if the program is full. There's a description for the program. On the right there's contact information for the library and if there's any documents that need to be downloaded for the program such as a list of supplies or ingredients that will actually also be on this side of the page 
can scroll all the way to the bottom, see some disclaimers, and then finally at the bottom there is a place to register. In order to register for the program, you would put in your first name, your last name, your date of birth to confirm with the system that you are of the correct age to register for the program. You need to put in an email address, and this is the most important part because we will need to email you the login information for Zoom so that you can access the class. Without a valid email, you will have no way of getting this information on how to access the Zoom class, so make sure that this is a valid email that you can access. You put in a phone number. And you can put in special notes. However, if you do have a question about the class, it's much better to email cosbyprograms at capelltx.gov so we can answer your question right away. Once you've entered all of your information, you'll click on register. And it will confirm that you have registered for the class. After you get your confirmation up here, you should also get a confirmation email, and usually that email will have the Zoom information for the class. If it doesn't, uh, if it's just a plain confirmation email, then you will probably receive a second email about 24 hours before the class that will have the Zoom information in it. So you should always receive at least two emails, a confirmation email and a reminder email 24 hours before the class. Uh, one or both of those should have the Zoom information. If you never receive your confirmation emails and you don't get the Zoom information, be sure to contact Cosby Programs at CapelTX.gov. So that's this email address right here. And let us know that you didn't get the information for the class so that we can email that to you again. You're also welcome to call us if you have questions about the programs or about registering for programs. So that contact phone number is 972-304-3658. And we hope to see you at an upcoming virtual program.